Let us get into the word. Too late have I loved you, O ancient beauty. Beautiful words of St. Augustine, whose feast day we celebrate today. Like St. Augustine, many of us might not look at Christianity as a beautiful religion. It might be just a set of rules, a killjoy. And St. Augustine, when he was young, he refused to be a Christian, though his mother was a Catholic and tried to convert him. St. Augustine was like many young people at that time in the Roman society, seeking for greatness, seeking to be famous, seeking to enjoy life. And slowly his heart became restless when he getting, got deeper into sin. He was lusting after one woman after another. And he even had a child out of wedlock. His mind was restless. He was struck by the thought of the philosopher Cicero, who said that we need to love wisdom, that wisdom is needed in order to live rightly. And so his mind, because St. Augustine was a very intelligent person, he was searching for truth. And he tried various philosophies at that time, but still finding that restlessness, not finding that full satisfaction. And as he climbed up the Roman society, he began to see the decadence, the corruption, though the Roman Empire began well. But during the time of St. Augustine, it was crumbling. All those early virtues that the Roman and the Greek philosophers were teaching, the importance of social justice, of self-discipline, of, of uh, treating others well, all this was being lost. People were lusting for power and they were corrupted. And so St. Augustine was disillusioned. But in as he searched for, for truth and meaning and purpose in life, slowly God intervened in his life to the prayers of his mother, to Bishop Ambrose, who was a great preacher at that time, a great model Christian who cared for the poor and the weak. And so eventually, St. Augustine got baptized. He became a great thinker, theologian in the church, a bishop, someone who had a tremendous influence in the life of the church. Messages of Christ in today's gospel, the gospel speaks about the five wise bridesmaids and the five foolish bridesmaids. Who were, the foolish ones were not prepared to meet the bridegroom. And sometimes we can look at this as, like Augustine, we are foolish. We don't really seriously think about things. And these foolish bridesmaids, for some reason, maybe they were lazy or maybe they were just procrastinating or maybe they thought at the last moment he, they, the other maids will be generous to help them. But they did not take responsibility for their lives. And eventually when the bridegroom came, they were not there. They had to run to buy the oil. And when they came, the door was shut and they were left out of the wedding celebration. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today let us think about wisdom. Let us not be like St. Augustine to come to that realization that true wisdom is from God. And one day God, the bridegroom, is going to come and take us to his wedding banquet in heaven. But today we need to take responsibility for our lives. 
we need to do the necessary things to search for that ancient beauty and begin to live lives that are pleasing to God.